Hello everyone, this is Running On Empty Food Review. Well, hello ladies and gentlemen, and everyone watching. I'm your host, The Report of the Week, and oh boy, is this a, uh, this is a treacherous, I mean, this is an absolutely treacherous review to do, uh, because there are, there is a line of severe thunderstorms quickly approaching, I see the dark clouds there on the horizon, can kind of hear the thunder coming in, but you know what? I am, I mean, you know I'm an adrenaline junkie. I know I am. I, I thought that the farthest I would ever go is not wearing a pocket protector with the pens in the shirt pocket there, but I was wrong. This is better than skydiving, better than bungee jumping, and better than breaking the land speed record on a motorcycle. I'm outside, couple dozen miles away from some thunderstorms, and I'm gonna do a pizza review. Now, this isn't just any sort of run-of-the-mill pizza review. Uh, I'm, I'm actually surprised at how long it's been since I ever tried Domino's or did a review of them on the channel. I can't believe it's been since 2017. And I, I was thinking back to when I did the video with all of the fast food tiers, and I ranked Domino's at the very, the very bottom of it. And some people were saying, yeah, you know, I agree, I think they're terrible, and so on. And other people were, say, were saying, have you ever tried Domino's before? Review, bra. And I've tried them, you know, since, uh, I mean, it's been a while, granted. But my experiences weren't very positive. So I decided, all right, today I'm going to get a pizza. As a matter of fact, I'm going to get their pan pizza. I'm going to try it out, and we're going to see what it tastes like. So I'm kind of giving them a second chance, maybe a chance for redemption. And uh, we're just going to see what we got. I got this delivered, and I'm sorry that the I had to take the sacred stickers off of the delivery box. But let me get the autofocus off. I'll, I'm going to look. There we go. There, is the, there it is. I first tried this out back in uh, 2012, I think it was. The famous pan pizza review, as I said uh, word for word back then. That's the box. Still looks the same as it ever was. And there is the pizza. Look at that. Alright. Hand pizza. No, uh, no changes made to it. You know, I just got it as it is. Not, you know, regular sauce, cheese, pepperoni. And uh, I'm just going to give this another go. So we're going to see how good it is. There's a view of the pizza. You can definitely see it's still fresh, despite having it gotten delivered. Still looks fresh. Looks uh, pretty good. And, uh... Definitely, you can see how it is glistening right there. Cheese is very much uh, melted. We'll grab uh, this slice. You know, it's a greasy pizza. It's an oily pizza. Again, this is their... Um, I guess it's a deep dish pizza. So, it's thicker. You know, thicker crust, more dough. Uh, but it comes, of course, with... It loaded with the toppings and the cheese and the sauce and the pepperonis and all that good stuff. Price for this pizza was $8. They've had a long-running coupon on their website. If you get it delivered, you can get a, a two-topping pan pizza for $8, which is a pretty solid deal for what it's worth. So I'm just going to try it out, and I'll let you know what it tastes like. Overall, the delivery service was good. They're actually speedy, and the delivery driver was friendly. But, I mean, you know what they say. You can get good service, bad product, bad product, good service. Uh, I think I was gonna say something different but we'll go with it otherwise the uh, pan pizza from Domino's trying it out for the second time maybe some redemption maybe not we'll see it's going in
I was trying to be dramatic and I slammed my wrist on that. I, it's it's a casualty for the sake of the review. It's for the pizza. Alright, for what it is, I mean, I gotta admit, it tastes pretty good. Do I have a, a criticism here and there? I do. Alright. Overall, there has been an improvement with their sauce. You know, you remember back in 2010 or whatever, everyone was saying it tastes like cardboard and the sauce tastes like ketchup or, you know, whatever you want to call it, whatever derivative of that comment uh, you had. And granted, even back then, I wasn't the biggest fan of their pizza. I would get the uh, deep dish pizza for... That's obviously what this is the successor to. I would never get their regular pizza, though. The sauce has definitely gotten more flavorful. It's definitely a richer, bolder tomato sauce, uh, which is a good thing. There's some pizza places where I can't stand the sauce. It's like it's just runny, you know, tomato paste. This is on the thicker side, and it's, you know, it's rich. It's flavorful. It's actually a legitimately decent tomato sauce for what it is. It's no artisan, um, you know type of sauce, but it's good enough. For what it is, it's good enough. Uh, it's very, very greasy. I would say the quality of the cheese could be a little bit higher, and maybe a little more pepperoni, but it is a very greasy, very oily type of pizza. I would describe this really as being like the epitome of fast food pizza, okay? It's like a fast food pizza. It's not something that you would be going to a restaurant and there'd be some old, you know, Italian pizza master on a, a brick oven or something. It's a it's a greasy, oily, pretty tasty, uh, fast food pizza. Uh, but the strength in this one lies in the sauce. It's on the chewier side because there's a lot more dough than you'd expect. But the one thing that disappoints me, and you can see it here in this slice too, is the amount of crust that there is. <clears throat> I think with the pan pizza, they used to say that the toppings go all the way to the crust. But you can see there's a bit of dough right there still. Obviously that's not necessarily true. The structural integrity is what it is, you know. I always like the pizzas with a little bit more bake to it, uh, so you can just hold it firmly. Uh, so, I mean, those are my two complaints, really. A bit more crust than I would hope for, and uh, a little on the flimsy side is the best way to go about it. Uh, so, out of ten, what am I going to be rating this? When I first tried this out, I said I gave it an eight out of ten, just because I don't give ten out of tens. Uh, this one is going to get a 6.5 out of 10, uh, because it's a little bit, a little bit above average. I like the sauce, I have to admit that. I like the sauce, I think it's tasty and flavorful, uh, but other than that, it's not outstanding. It's not like it's the best thing I've ever eaten, and I certainly have a few complaints here and there. I mean, I guess after tasting this, would I still keep Domino's at that absolute lowest tier? I, I would bump it up one. You know, I would bump it up. So what was it at last time? Was it at... It, it was... I'm just thinking. Yeah, I, w I would bump it up a tier a after that. If I, was, if, I w if I had to redo the chart, I would bump Domino's up one tier. Uh, but this isn't the worst of the worst. Uh, this is a little bit better than that. So I would bump it up one for the heck of it. Uh, but overall, overall, that's what there is. It's still perfectly edible, of course. It's not like it's the worst thing ever. Uh, but just remember, it's fast food pizza. And uh, with that understanding, you might be a little let down, but it definitely has some redeeming qualities. All right, on one final note, make sure you support this channel at patreon.com slash the report of the week. It's a fun community with lots of other uh, fellow supporters of the channel. I have added a new tier. I've made some adjustments to the $10 tier, and uh, it's a way for you to be able to suggest certain things you'd like to see me review and then I'll make special reviews just for you guys, so it's a good way to really support the channel, have a little bit of fun with it as well. Thank you for watching, ladies and gentlemen. I'm your host, The Report of the Week, and today we were again just trying out the pan pizza from Domino's, giving it a shot, seeing if there were any redeeming qualities. With that said, I could really hear the thunder picking up, so I think I'm gonna be calling it a wrap. Thank you, do take care. I'm your host, The Report of the Week.